I discovered uh, Gypsy Jazz or Manush when I was like in school, like, the last years of school. I was listening to this uh, like, online radio where I just chanced upon Django Reinhardt and I was like, okay, this is incredible and I really connect with this somehow, like, felt like a natal connection. And then I find out that the music is called Manush or Manush, which really interested me because it sounded very similar to Manush in Bangla, in my language, which means humanity or man. So I was like, okay, that's interesting. So I started doing a bit of research on that and I found out that the gypsies, so to speak, which is a pejorative term also, are actually the Romani people who hail from India, mostly the northern, uh, the northwest, western Rajasthan. cities like Rajasthan and Sindh. So for example, the Sinti people are possibly from Sindh, Sindhis, so the, you know, the Sinti, so that's what I mean, that's what I started reading up about, and now Deepo will probably take the conversation <laughs> forward. <laughs> no. I'll pass on the back to him. No, so I did a bit of reading because I didn't believe him. Okay. <laughs> you didn't believe him? I didn't believe him because, like, he has a thing about tracing everything back to India. I'm like, no, this is not true. <laughs> but then I did some research and I found out it that's true. true. That genetically, I think you can trace most Roman people back to Rajasthan. And we found out that they, the word Romani might actually come from this word Dome. Dome is this kind of uh, subcast in our country whose main job it is to, I think, burn bodies and clean. They do, clean. They, they do other things as well, but it's it's still, is it still the case? Yeah. Okay. Still. So. system mm -hmm. where the Hindu religion divided people into four different castes yeah. and you know it's mostly upper caste and lower caste yeah. and it got very very messed up now you know post independence it's a little better but it's not entirely not eliminated. Really. Not really. It's a little better like it's not as bad not as... Really. It's so, not so the domes are yeah. the, okay. of the bottom rung so their job in society is to clean dirt and that kind of stuff so yeah and they were also called the untouchables because you know the higher caste Hindus believe that if they That's stepped right. on their shadow or something like that happened, they would get uh, impure, like, you know, so the purity of their faith would suddenly, you know, vanish if they were touched by a dome. So what was really amazing for us is because I realized that Romani might come from a dome, like there is this, so essentially this whole gypsy music comes from this very uh, lower caste history, which in our context is incredible because you don't hear of dome culture in India right now. You don't know if the domes sing or they dance yeah. or they have art, but once they like exited the country and went so westwards, something else happened then, so we don't know how that And I've been trying to find some links between the kind of music that Rajasthan has and you know the Romani people have so it's not so strong like it's not so obvious but yeah there's a great film on that Lachlan Lachlan Rome. Rome, yeah. so yeah so you know that kind of traces the you know, history back to Rajasthan this particular so, is the Banjaras right? yeah the Banjaras so they're a wandering tribe. groups of people who sing so then we think that's from maybe where the whole gypsy tradition comes from in fact there's also another gypsy jazz band in India called the Banjara Corp which I think mm -hmm. they've named themselves after the Banjaras yeah. so, but the Banjaras still live here in India, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, they? yeah. They, they have like, they do their own rituals and music, but they have to keep traveling because there's no one place where they can stay for long without water running out, without things running out. So as they travel, um, they're still nomadic, they're, and, they're they're like nomadic and they sing and they dance. But it's it's a, like a huge thing, it's a big tourism thing in Rajasthan, but actually it's something that's done by maybe the poorest people in that state. But tourists come to see, especially yeah, the tourists there. come to see it, and they pay a lot of money, and none of the money seems to go to yeah. them. <laughs> and where does the money go? It pro it middle usually man. goes to middlemen, to people who organize the yeah. yeah, like they get them together and they perform. But the performers maybe get very little, and it's barely usually anything, yeah, actually. barely anything, and you know it's, it's a difficult and really difficult struggle for them to uh -huh. kind of live that life. But they do it because some of them. Even in Europe, I guess, the Romanis who still wander around, they probably have very similar It's really lives. sad that Romani people all over the world are still persecuted, like they are not a part of society per se. 
mm-hmm. you know like there's so much persecution against them like they don't like they they do not have a country really like yeah. so you know, they don't have their own national identity that way so okay yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> one more thing that i really liked about the gypsy music was that I mean it's technically so accomplished but then it's there folk is no music. music. Yeah, that is yeah. true, that is true. But it's folk music and I grew up playing the blues initially and you know there was a lot of training that went into it, you know, and then I moved into a bit of jazz and there was a lot of training that went into it. But then when I hear the gypsy or the folk culture or the Romani culture and how they play music, it's basically just sitting along with each other, you know, and just playing your heart out. Yeah. There's no really um how do I call it? Like it's not I mean, there's there's no, there's no formal, yeah. there's, there's no education, formal yeah. education that way, you know, like it's not... The education is in the ear, I guess. Yeah. You yeah. listen so and, you and practice and, you know, yeah. with and you keep just playing, like playing, you yeah. playing. Yeah. So we recently had the, the fortune of playing with this Belgian composer called Cyril. Yeah. So he's also played with a few Romani musicians and he says that, you know, he's played with the Chavolo, that in uh, Dorado Schmidt. Chavo- Dorado Schmidt. Chavo- Chavo- so he's played with Chavolo Schmidt and Dorado Schmidt. And he says that, you know, over there, they're always just playing, like, once they are done with the performance, they'll come back home and play more. So they're always constantly playing, and that's something I really warmed up. I was like, I always want to play, or yeah. you know, be with music. Yeah. Like, <laughs> at home, without people around, <laughs> by myself, with nobody judging me and looking at me. Nobody is judging me. <laughs> still, you know, it's the pressure. So, yeah, I guess that's about it. But. Everybody should watch Lasher Rome. <laughs> no, it's important for us as Indians also because most of us don't really know about the, let's say, low caste culture. Yeah. And this is it, man. Like, yeah. And Gyal comes from there. Like, it's a long history. And also, okay. a lot of the music that we do as a band, the folk music that we do, is taken from the culture you know, of the lower caste people, so yeah. to speak. And, I mean, I see that, you know, parallel there, you know, with the Romani music. At least in the context of the yeah. Indian subcontinent. So, yeah. And that lower caste, do you still find them here in Calcutta as well? Or? They are everywhere. I mean, yeah. they Countries actually constitute the, the majority, 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 of majority of the population. Like, but they are also, despite being the majority, they are the most oppressed in terms of not only the way that society treats them, but the way that the state treats yeah. them, the in way terms the of police op- treat the opportunities them, that they get. The opportunities <coughs> that they get, even if, you know, it's something that is it's been proven again and again about how important it is to make place for them through reservation and everything. Majority society is completely against it because they think that it's something that they kind of get without working, but that's not at all true not because true. they probably work the hardest to get even a fraction of what people are born with. And that's something that is will is continuing to this day and will probably continue for a long, for a long, long time, time and that's something that you know I guess we all kind of believe against. Yeah. Yeah.